Hey everyone, in today's video we will learn what is word embedding and how to use it to represent text. Word embeddings is a technique used in natural language processing to represent words or phrases as dense vectors in a continuous vector space. It maps words to fixed length numerical vectors where similar words are located closer to each other in the embedding space. Word embedding have several advantages over other vector representations like one-out encoding or bag of words such as semantic relationship. Uh, word embedding capture semantic relationships between words. Similar words are represented by vectors that are closer to each other in the embedding space. For, for example, in effective word embedding, words like cat and dog would have vectors that are closer together compared to words like cat and apple. The second advantage is dimensionality reduction. Word embedding typically have a lower dimensionality compared to one-hot encoding, for example, while one-hot encoding represents each word as a high-dimensional sparse vector, word embeddings represent words in a lower-dimensional continuous space, capturing essential information in more compact form. The third advantage of word embedding is that word embedding can capture contextual information and semantic similarities between words based on the distributional hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, words that appear in similar contexts are likely to have similar meanings. By leveraging the context in which words appear, word embedding can capture more nuanced relationships compared to other text representation methods. The first advantage um, is generalization. Word embedding can generalize well to unseen words. Since similar words have similar vectors representations, word embedding can provide meaningful representations for words that were not present in the training data. This is useful in scenarios where the vocabulary may expand or change over time. And the last advantage is efficiency. Word embeddings are more memory efficient compared to one-hot encoding, for example, as they represent words as dense vectors rather than high-dimensionality sparse vectors. This allows for faster computations and reduces the storage requirements. There are several uh, algorithms and techniques to train word embeddings. Uh, some of the popular ones are uh, Word2Vec uh, that focuses on two main training methods, continuous bag of words and skipgram. GLOB, which stands for Global Vectors for Word Representation, and FastText, Elmo, and BERT. Let's see some examples for pre-trained word embeddings. So the first word embedding model that we will see is Word2Vec from GenSim library in Python. So we load a pre-trained Word2Vec model from GenSim uh, using api.load and this specific model Word2Vec Google News 300 contains word embeddings trained on the Google News corpus. This model is quite large, 1.5 gigabytes, so make sure you have that space available in your workspace. Now, uh, to get word embedding for a specific word, you can just write the model name and then inside a square brackets, you insert the word. The output is a 300 dimensional vector representing the words embedding. So here I got the vector for the word scooter, for example. Uh, next, you can calculate similarity between two words based on their embeddings using model.similarity and then the two words. So here I calculate the similarity between car and scooter, and you can see that they are 
0.6 related to each other. We also can get the most similar words to a specific word. So for example, the most similar words to scooter are scooters, mopped, bicycle, and so on. Okay, now what happens if I give a new word that the model wasn't trained on? You see that the model threw an exception if I tried to get this word embedding vector. So it's always important to handle those things in your code. Maybe try to put this piece of code inside of accept block. All right, now let's see an example for glove word embedding. So in this example, we use uh, spacey to load and utilize pre-trained word embedding model. So here uh, we are going to use the English core web medium model. So first we download the model and then load it using spacey.load. And this particular model utilizes glove embeddings. Now, to get embedding vector for a specific word, we use model.vocab and then the required word dot vector. This model also returns 300 dimensional vectors. Uh, we can also calculate similarity between two words using the function similarity. So this is the same example that we used in the word to vec model. You can see that the similarity score is pretty much the same. Um, in this model, we can also get word embedding for an entire sentence. And what it does behind the scene is actually taking the average of all words embeddings in the sentence. So in this example, I want to get embeddings for the sentence, I rode a red scooter. So you could print the vector representing the entire sentence uh, or get the vector for each word um, in the document using for loop like this. Also, you can get the part of speech for every word in the sentence. So you get the text and the POS for W in sentence embedding. Lastly, if we tried to get word embedding for a word that's not in the vocabulary, we get a vector full of zeros and it doesn't throw an exception this time. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.